go down without the south and upside down and see if you work. So thank you all very much indeed, and good evening to you. I'd like to begin by welcoming each and every one of you here this evening, and thank you for coming out to join me in my recent celebrations of my international achievements. Three weeks ago last night, I set off on a journey across the seas to beautiful Scotland to arrive at a very, very special presentation and moment in my life. I was deeply humbled in accepting the prestigious Berlin Award from the world's largest magic society, the International Magician Society in New York. I want to thank Tony Hassini, which is the CEO Chairman of the Society, for flying in direct from New York for the presentation. And indeed to all the members of the Board of Directors for bestowing their confidence strongly and declaring me worthy to receive this accolade. I was very fortunate, as Tony mentioned, to also receive the very first official Doctor of Magic PhD degree in Irish history. And to become only the second Irish person for me is mind blown and very humbly. To represent my country on the world stage is an incredible feeling and of course very rewarding. But it doesn't hold a candle nor compare to standing amongst every one of you tonight here in my own time. Memories are made of this. And as most of my uncles have to state, and that is something I had to clear up tonight. I've been very fortunate to have many newspapers cover my story, to have many radio stations, but there's always one mistake. They'll always introduce a popular Dunlow man or a popular Burton Port man. But tonight I stand here to clarify I'm a very proud Cajun man. And that is probably my favorite thing. Look, I was told from a very early age that if the road to success was too easy, wouldn't they work for them. Or many would travel it, but very few would get to understand the true purpose and the pure goal of this journey. It takes hours of practice, perseverance, and most of all, dedication. Well, I was willing to do that work, well, most of the time anyway, but that indeed has made all the difference. When I set out on this journey over five short years ago, now looking back, I could never have imagined that in this short space of time, that I would reach the top level of my craft. To perform alongside Dynamo, uh, notables as in Ronnie O'Sullivan, as Tony mentioned, and God rest, a very special person we lost today, John Chalice, is mind blowing. To have and to be able to call these people friends is on a completely different level. And now it's time for my thank yous. I've got plenty here. I won't bore you with the Bulba Club. I want to thank Peter, Hanky, and Malachi, and everybody at Mount Kate who over here in the table for allowing us to be here on the pitch and to uh, uh, let us have our celebration here. Also, I would like to thank Pat and to Nori and Dr. Josie, all the speakers, give them a round of applause. Well. But most of all, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our compare this evening, the host of the Time Out podcast. Didn't he do well this evening? Tony McGettigan, everybody. I want to thank all my family that are here. Um, and it's true, they say you're only as good as the people behind you. Well, I can say that I'm very fortunate to have very good people behind me and friends and family. My grandmother, who is here, to all my uncles, uh, Josie and Michael is here this evening, my aunts, Margaret, Magella, and one aunt in particular, who was a driving force behind my career, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, is my aunt Bruce. She even bought me my first, as I said, Paul Daniels magic set many, many, many times. Very good. As I finish, I would just like to say a huge thank you to my mother for everything she has done for me, and I don't think I'd be standing here without her. As I always say, she's wonderful, caring, considerate, the whole lot, and I know it to be true because before I came up to speak, she told me it herself. <laughs> <laughs> but all kidding aside, I could never repay her for all she has done, and I want to thank her very much for everything. 
And as I finish, I'd just like to say, most people view these moments and receive them, these accolades, as reaching the complete destination of what they have set out to achieve in their careers. Well, for me, I see this as just another step on my journey. They say our dreams are like the stars. In this lifetime, we may never touch them, but by following them, they will lead us to our destiny. And I feel that that is what has led us to this very moment tonight. I believe that this moment is just the beginning, and I can assure you that the best is yet to come. Thank you, each and every one of you, for coming out. And also, just before I finish as well, I just want to, to mention those who sadly couldn't be here tonight, and I know there's plenty of people here that we've lost in the last two years that would be here this evening. And there's one gentleman here tonight who lost his wife not so long since ago, and that is Fancy and his lovely wife. Um, I want to pay tribute to her. She is a great follower of my work. And to all those, and especially one other man I couldn't but finish but mention as my grandfather who's looking down, I believe, as he that guides me through all my journeys in my life. So thank you very much again. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Martha Wilbondalan, and uh, 